Roman Cart makes it really easy to sell downloadable items or digital goods from your web pages. All you do is you simply upload your files to what we call the Roman Cart Digital Vault, and then when your customers purchase those files, it's delivered to them on both the confirmation screen and in the email uh, via a 48 hour time limited hyperlink. So, what that means is it's a hyperlink that's only going to work for 48 hours after they purchase uh, the items from you. And of course, that makes it, you know, that gives them less incentive to kind of email that hyperlink around to all their friends and that sort of thing so it adds a, an extra level of security as well to the items that you're selling so let's uh, see how we do that we've got here uh, I've created an ebook I've just called it my ebook if we just open it there it says my ebook Roman cart download demonstration so really simple ebook there and this is our world of wines demo store so of course downloads that you might sell you know things like ebooks or perhaps software that you or your company have written uh, this is the sort of thing that you can use this system for uh, and what you do is you first you upload your files to the Roman Cart Digital Vault. There's a maximum of 25 megabytes per file. And this is the Digital digital Vault screen here. And of course, if you don't want to use the Digital Vault, uh, then you can just simply sell uh, the URLs to your files if you're hosting them on your own servers. But if you do that, then uh, you won't get the benefit of the 48-hour time-limited hyperlink. Okay, so let's enter the Vault item name. I'll just call it My eBook. And File to Upload. There we are. Many people selling ebooks uh, use uh, kind of software to encrypt the ebook further, and that requires them to deliver usernames and passwords with the ebook to their customers. And if you want to do that, you just tick that box there, and then you can upload a list of usernames and passwords. It makes it really easy to do, and you can add to them later on and that kind of thing. But we're not going to do that uh, in this example. So if I click on Add to Vault, you see the file uh, is uploaded. Okay, so that's there, and it's called My eBook. So if I go back here, now we need to create a product. So if I click on Add New Product, and this is our World of Wines demo store. So let's imagine this this eBook uh, is a kind of wine tasting eBook uh, with information all about tasting wines. So we'll put, call it Wine Wine Tasting eBook, and we'll call it I don't know eBook zero one can be the item code price. Let's call, just give it ten pounds. Okay, and then in the download section there, Digital Vault item we select my ebook and then click on save okay now so all we need to do now is click on show me the code and then this gives us the code for a button and a hyperlink to place onto our web pages so I'll just copy that button there paste that into just a really simple test HTML page here we've got so it's just gonna be a page just with that button on it if I save that then if we refresh the page you see, here's our button. Now let's do a test purchase and see how that uh, see how that file is delivered. So if I click on the Add to Basket button, you see here's the basket page. If I click on Checkout, you'll notice as well there's no shipping uh, because obviously it's a non-tangible item, so these are exempt from shipping. Then we enter the card details here. Okay, so here is the confirmation screen, uh, and you can see, I don't know if you heard that there, but the email has just arrived as well. Um, and so it says wine tasting ebook, click here to download and click on the save button. So if we click on that, and it says there's well valid for 48 hours. So here we are. Do you want to open or save this information? Myebook.pdf, click on save. We can save that uh, back to our desktop. Let's call it myebook2, just because <laughs> obviously there's one already there. Okay, so I've saved that. And if we minimize everything there, you'll see there's the ebook we just downloaded. If I double click on it, there we are, my ebook, Roman Cart download demonstration. So uh, let's also take a look at the email that's been received. Okay, so here's the email. Uh, and uh, because the item is less than one megabyte, uh, it's also attached to the email as well. And there's an option for that, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, so there's a number of ways they can get this file. So it's attached there as an attachment. Uh, but we'll just uh, we'll use the download URL here. Um, and so it says you can also downloadable items have been zipped and attached to this email. You can also download them using the links below, which are valid for 48 hours. Downloads purchase wine tasting ebook. Download URL. Click here to download. We we'll click there. And a page pops up that says, please click here and click on save to download the file to your computer. My ebook, and so we click on save. This time we'll save this as uh, my ebook 3. Click on save. 
There we are, and you can see on the left-hand side here, My eBook 3, if we open that up, there's our file, My eBook Roman Cart Download Demonstration. I mentioned earlier that that was a, uh, sent as an attachment as well. You click on the attachment there, and you can also save that. That's, the attachment is zipped up, and so if I save that to the desktop, we can unzip that. Again, it's got My eBook in it. If I double-click on that, you'll see there's our downloadable ebook. Now there's an option, if I go back to the web control panel, and then we go to tools, options, general, you'll see there's an option down here that says send digital downloads a zipped email attachment from digital vault if less than one megabyte so that will only work on files that are less than one megabyte because obviously you don't want to kind of fill up people's inboxes but uh, that's the option there that allows you to have it as an as an attachment as well so hopefully you can see it makes it really easy to sell downloads you just simply upload your file to the digital vault and uh, and attach it to the attach it to the product and as i mentioned before if you don't want to use the digital digital vault you can sell urls in the download section on the product properties, as well as uh, being able to select the digital vault item there, you could just enter the URL for a product there instead of the digital vault item, and it would simply uh, present that URL to the customer when they purchase uh, the item from you.